So, you're in the market for a new mattress and you've seen the purple mattress all over your YouTube ads. But at this point, you're looking for a real life customer, non-sponsored review, and maybe even a review of somebody who has owned a purple mattress for a full year. Hi, my name is Mac Dingle and I purchased our purple mattress a little over one year ago. And I am here to tell you the raw, the real, the ugly about our purple mattress experience after one year of owning it. And if it's even worth your money overall. But before before we dive right into it, if you guys are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button because we upload lifestyle content here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Everybody give this video a big ol' thumbs up because it helps me out a ton. All my socials are linked down below in case you want to follow me over there. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm first going to touch on our initial experience and thoughts. So if you've already seen my six month review and you want to skip this part, here's a timestamp that you guys can skip to. So first off, we purchased the purple two mattress, which is now called the purple plus mattress. There were only three models at the time. So we went with the one right dab in the middle that claimed to be more breathable, more responsive, all that jazz. We paid a total of about $1,600 after taxes when a queen of the mattress that we were getting was $1,699 starting, but we purchased it during one of their holiday sales, which saved us like one to $200, I wanna say. And since we are in the full swing of all holidays, holiday sales, all of the holiday shopping, all of that stuff. I'm sure that they are doing a massive sale or at least some sort of sale on bundles. So if you watch this review and you do want to pull the trigger, I will leave a link to my exact mattress that I have down below because there's like all of these different models and stuff. So if you're wondering the exact one that we have, I will leave it linked down below. If you're going to pull the trigger on it, trust me, just wait or do it during the holiday sales. It saves you so much money. Next up was the delivery and unboxing, which I was super impressed by. Nobody had to come into the apartment to deliver it. We didn't have to schedule a delivery. It just came like any other package you would order online. There were clear cut unboxing instructions right on the packaging and it even came with a safe cutter tool to make the unboxing as easy as possible. All of this made for a seamless and actually fun unboxing experience. Now for the first impressions. First off, I want to say that we went into this mattress experience with all positive vibes. I was ready to love this mattress. I wanted to love this mattress. I had just spent $1,600 on this mattress. So I went into this experience very open and willing to love this mattress. And guys, I hated it. <laughs> but do stick with me because there is a twist coming at the end. Well, last night was our second night sleeping on our purple mattress and it was a second very restless and almost sleepless night. I wanted to lie to myself. I wanted to pretend that everything was good. I wanted to ignore any faults because everyone freaking loves the purple mattresses. This is the second night where I have not slept that well. And last night in my fury of not being able to go to sleep, I started noting the things that I was truly bothered with. There are things that I could be picky about, but these are the things that are really bothering me personally, but I'm stuck with it for 21 days. The purple grid, like the little holy thing that like you guys saw what it's made out of on the top, you can feel the holes on top of the mattress. Like the grid itself is what you sleep on. So you actually feel like you're sleeping on a grid of like rubber, but really soft rubber. It is soft, I will give them that, but you feel it. You feel that you are sleeping on a grid of sorts and that's just like I can ignore it but if I think about it it's just kind of annoying you know I feel it underneath my feet I feel it on my back like one of those princess in the pea moments you know you could ignore it but I do feel it the other thing is it's kind of cold <laughs> you guys know when you sleep on air mattresses the air itself obviously takes on the temperature of kind of the surrounding area and we like to sleep in a colder temperature room so that we can like snuggle up underneath our blankets and things like that so I love the air around me colder than like what is under underneath the blankets. It's just very cozy. We don't overheat that way. That's just like how we like to sleep. So we actually keep the windows open kind of in the winter time, at least just like a little crack. So it's like nice and cold. But because the top layer of the purple mattress is just a grid, like a honeycomb type of grid pattern, it's full of just air. Like there's just air going through all the grids. It's like a very airy thing versus just like a plush top mattress. So the air within all the grids is taking on the temperature from around the room. So the temperature around the room 
is chilly, how we like to sleep, we like to sleep in the chilly, the mattress underneath you, you feel that it's colder. So it's actually kind of difficult to get like nice and warm under the covers when the thing that you're sleeping on top of is kind of colder in nature. So that's number two. And I think number three is the number one thing that I think I will get used to. I hope I get used to all the other stuff too within these 21 days that we're supposed to trial it. It is so flat. Like it is just a very, like there's no dips. There's no, it dips to your body. Don't get me wrong. It's not like sleeping on cardboard, but I was so used to my dip in the mattress, but this is like super flat. So that is my current rant about the purple mattress. I obviously am stuck with it for 21 days. So if I have 21 days, of kind of sleepless nights, you're not gonna have a very happy dingle on your hands, but I, of course, will keep you updated. Watch me love this map. Like, watch me just love this mattress in 21 days and be like, I am so sorry that I complained, but I just wanna give you guys like a real no BS review as we go along these 21 days. So purple does indeed give you a 100% full refund if you do not end up loving their mattress, but they do have you go through a 21 day trial period first because they recognize that's how long it might take a body to get used to a fresh, new, supportive mattress after sleeping on something that may have been eight plus years old, lumpy, bumpy, indented, that type of thing. Because as you saw from those first impression clips, I was ready to turn in my mattress day one. And even after the first full week of sleeping on this mattress, those 21 days could not come fast enough. I was so ready to march down to my local mattress firm and just pick up a normal plush type of mattress that I've been used to all of my life. But guys, <laughs> when it came time to decide to keep or return the mattress after the full 21 day trial period, we decided to keep it and here's why. My husband Jack has some back problems due to a slipped disc injury during high school football and so he's had a couple back issues and throwing out since then. And I have some hip issues from running high school and college track and field. So basically we're both falling apart before the age of 30. After the 21 days, Jack had fallen completely in love with this mattress because it had helped his back issues so much. And I honestly couldn't believe it, but my hip issues were also greatly reduced after sleeping on this mattress for 21 days. And now that brings us to today. After one full year plus, one full year plus of sleeping on our purple mattress, my husband's back issues are still greatly reduced. He hasn't had a back twinge or a back throw out in over a year now. And he doesn't wake up with his back feeling tight like it used to on our old mattress. My hip issues are also still greatly reduced. I used to have hip pain nearly every night going to sleep on our old mattress. And now I find that it only happens every couple months and it's usually on higher activity days, whether I went for a longer run or a, not, I don't run, what am I talking about? Whether I went on a longer walk or we went for a hike or we were just on our feet more that day, that's when I tend to feel it, but it's not an every night occurrence whatsoever anymore, which is crazy to me. It's truly amazing what the old mattress was doing to our bodies and we didn't even realize how how much the mattress was contributing to that until we switched to our purple mattress. Those three initial concerns that I mentioned towards the beginning had cleared up within 21 to 30 days of owning this mattress. Since this mattress does sleep cooler, I think it's because of the grid technology that it has on top. All I did was introduce an extra blanket and the temperature just became so perfect. And I actually grew to love that this mattress does sleep cooler because I used to wake up in the middle of the night feeling hot. You know, when you go to sleep and it's like the perfect temperature. And as you go on throughout the night, it just gets hotter and then you wake up and you're uncomfortable. I never wake up hot anymore. I'm not even joking. I never wake up hot anymore on this mattress. And I would say my sleeping conditions are near perfect now, which I'm very happy about. You simply get used to that grid feeling. I literally do not even notice it anymore, but I do see people getting the mattress protector for purple. And they say that that helps negate the feeling or any feeling of grid that you have under you. They also say a thin topper works really really well, but I would say if you do a thin topper, do a thin one, like not like a super plush one. So it doesn't take away any of the benefits of the mattress, you know? For those of you who are new for all things purple mattress, the grid is not a hard grid. This grid is the plushiest grid that you've ever felt. So it's not like you're sleeping on top of like a tough grid type of thing. Just wanted to mention that. And then the issue that I had with the flatness is just because our old mattress was absolute crap. And it had huge dips where we both slept and I was 
was used to that and that is not good but that is just what I was used to so going to a healthy flat supportive mattress just took a little bit of adjusting I was super curious if we were gonna see any dips at all after one year of sleeping on this mattress for reference my husband is about 220 pounds and so his side of the mattress always dips first but at a glance we could not see any dips whatsoever if I get super close I think I think I might see a slight dip on my husband's side of the bed. I'm curious if the camera will even pick up on it at all because we had to look real close. But that's me getting super up close and really intensely looking for any dippage. The only other thing that I notice after one year is the staining from our sheets. Shortly after purchasing our mattress, we invested in a set of linen sheets, which we absolutely love. They are so good, I highly recommend. But they are this like rusty red beautiful orange color and of course with a white mattress and those sheets we were bound to see some staining because of this in hindsight I do wish that we picked up the mattress protector when we were purchasing our mattress but the only time we see our mattress is when we are switching out the sheets so it's not a huge deal breaker it's just something I wish we would have purchased while we were purchasing our mattress so overall would I recommend this mattress to you to my friends to my family I would say if you are looking to get the absolute most out of your sleep health and the long-term investment that is indeed a mattress, yes, I would absolutely recommend going with the purple mattress. The long-term gain and benefits that we have seen from this mattress totally outweigh those initial first impressions that we had. And to this day, after one full year later, we are still so happy with our purchase and we will be returning to purple for all of our future mattress needs. And from the comments on my six month update that I got from people who also purchased a purple mattress, I would say that you guys feel the same. If you have absolutely any questions on anything that I mentioned in this video or did not mention in this video, leave them in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them for you. If you are new and you enjoyed this review, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you. We upload lifestyle content every single Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Everyone do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. All of my socials are listed down below and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye.